Here we go with another case of injustice. This one out of Ellis County, Texas. Jacob Witt. Jacob Witt left Florida. A young man set out on his own, get a job, and start a life for himself. From all reports from family and friends in Florida, he was a well-balanced young man and knew what he wanted to do with his life. Got the job in Texas, found himself an apartment, paid his rent on time, went to work on time, even had money set aside. Didn't need a car because work was very close to home. So far, nothing sounds like someone that's suicidal. Seems like all his basic needs are being met. However, he left work on a Friday afternoon, collected his paycheck, which that one he didn't cash because he had money, and he had paid his rent. Rate. But he didn't return to work on Monday, even after bidding farewell to his friends and telling everybody he would be back on Monday. Weeks, months go by, his mother hadn't heard from him. So she filed police reports trying to locate her son to no avail. Six months later, a decomposed body is found in a wooded area 35 miles away from home, from Jacob's home. Remember, he didn't have a car. Jacob knew no one there, had no reason to be where he was found. Yet his body is decomposed inside of a tent partially in the sleeping bag. There's a glove laying on the ground next to a 44 Magnum pistol that has no serial numbers on it. So far, nothing sounds like a suicide to me. It sounds like a homicide. Obviously, he had no identification on him when the police came to the scene there, which they were summoned by the property owner when they were inspecting their property and found him. He had no identification. Sounds like a robbery. Maybe someone that he thought he could trust took him camping to enjoy the outdoors. But the whole thought in mind was to kill Jacob and take whatever money he had. We don't know if this same person went back to Jacob's apartment and removed anything from the apartment because so many months had gone by. But Ellis County Sheriff Johnny Brown's boys classified it as a suicide. Just another homeless bum found in the woods with a bullet hole in his head and a gun laying on the ground with no serial numbers on it and no ID. Now, could it not be undetermined case? Could it be an open homicide case? They don't have time to work on cases like that. They're too busy in Ellis County. His mother, frantic, to try to find her son was not notified because there was no ID. She submitted DNA. Many, many years go by before that DNA matches up to Jacob Witt's body laying in a pauper's grave. His mother, Teresa, has frantically and legally requested on numerous occasions all of the autopsy reports, all the photographs, and all the police reports documenting what investigation was done on her son's death. Archangels submitted requests for the same information, only to be given a 15-page police report with minimal information. None of the photographs were supplied, not, not the whole autopsy report was supplied, and this is the way they handle distraught parents, a mother that deserves to know what happened to her son. If they're so sure it's a suicide, what are they hiding? i tell you what they're hiding. They know it was a murder now, but they don't want to go back and investigate it. They don't want to look like idiots that they are. So what you have here is a police department that's allowed a murderer to escape justice and a prosecutor that's right along with it. We ask all of you to write letters to the Ellis County Sheriff and to the Ellis County district attorney's office and complain and say, what kind of people are you? You don't have the guts to open up an investigation that is more than likely a homicide? What are you hiding from the mother? Why isn't she entitled to those photographs? Why? Because we know why. They're inept, 
and they refuse to do their job as sheriff and a prosecutor because they really just don't care.